What is that? Rain? Oh, it's coming down now. <laughs> He's like getting inside. <laughs> this is our life. This is our fun. This is who we are. This is our dream. This is our team. Shot among the stars. Take the shoot a little bit fun. Take this hand and we'll just show. Good morning, plant, and good morning, Ollie. Are you giving him a drink of water? Yeah. I think he needs a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> this is a money tree in my office here. Ollie is watering it. Huh. So that I can roll a bit. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Ollie, look at your bed head. It's crazy. <laughs> you need to do your hair. So Ollie just did something super, super cool in the hallway, and he really, really wanted to show you guys. You ready? Yeah. Okay, show me a trick. <laughs> well, good morning, Finn. <laughs> Whoa! That's some pretty good gymnastics, dude. Whoa! Crazy Finn, you've got some energy today, don't you? <laughs> good morning, Finn. I love you. Ollie was also just telling me what his favorite, oh, he's crazy. <laughs> Ollie was also telling me what his favorite picture in our hallway is. Do you wanna tell them? Yeah. Okay, what's the favorite picture? This one. And I think that is just so cute. So this is a picture of Missy and I when she met Finn for the first time when he was in the NICU. That's Finny. That's this crazy boy right here. <laughs> That's hilarious, guys. It is, huh? <laughs> Never a dull moment in our house, you guys. Especially with two crazy wild boys running around. <laughs> No, I did not just get paper, Ollie, but I am really excited because I actually bid on something on eBay, and I won! And it's um, something I've been wanting for a while now. They don't make them anymore. Check this out. This That's is so cool. It's the ICEO Throwboy doll. They only did a limited number of these years ago, and it looks just like Steve Jobs. It's just so cool. So they only made 1,200, you guys. And I always thought it was just so cool. And I always thought how cool it would look in my office. Wait, does it and move? And I scored. Huh? Does it move? No, he doesn't move. <laughs> he looks so good, though. Oh, you guys, I miss Steve Jobs. Hey, Siri, play the song Let's Catch Santa by Daily Bumps. Let's Catch Santa by Daily Bumps now playing. All right, so we're going to see how Steve Jobs likes the new Apple HomePod. Let's catch Santa. He just wants to dance. Oh, hey, did I mention I'm a nerd? You guys, what is falling from the sky? Ice, rain. Rain? Yeah. Get over here, it's wet. <laughs> Luna, get inside before you get all dirty. It is a very rainy and coldy day. Look at this. I mean, the sky is just gray, and there's this wetness, dampness on the ground. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think of that? <laughs> it's like barely sprinkling on him. <laughs> I don't think Finn knows what to think about this. He's like getting his side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's actually a beautiful day. I love it. It's definitely nice to have some rain here in California since we don't get much of it. Oh, and She's back out again. Luna, get inside. Luna, do you want out? All right, boys, get inside. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head and said, I, don't for I forgot the song, guys. It doesn't rain enough here. I don't know the song. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We actually have a lot to do today. We gotta get you guys ready. Your hair is crazy, bud. Crazy. Okay, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how I do all his hair in the morning. All right, you ready? Yeah. So first we have to get it all wet. 
And this is actually just a water spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has flowers on it. So. And it does have flowers. All right, I do use this leave-in conditioner just to make his hair a little bit softer, and it smells really good too. All right, once we got it all damp, I'm just gonna brush. And Ollie only likes one kind of brush, right? Yeah. Which one do you like? This one. He likes this brush. He doesn't like my brush because it's uh, too spiky, he yeah, says. <laughs> too spiky, huh? This one's like a massage. So now that we got this in, I'm going to use this Kevin Murphy Smooth again. Just a little tiny why is it? Why is it white? Because that's the color of it. <laughs> and then we're just gonna oh, it smells, run it through. It smells like hot dog. He <laughs> says that every single time I do his hair. It does not smell like hot dogs, you guys. <laughs> he said it smells like barbecue, and I'm like, no, no it doesn't. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> now we're gonna use our handy dandy blow dryer and blow dry it. Do it. Use the Kevin Murphy Knight Rider Maximum Control Texture Paste, which opens like, oh, like no. almost like a treasure box, all like this, and then like that. <laughs> and we've got his hair like blow dried in the general like direction I want it to go. And I'm gonna use a super small amount, like. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna rub it all over my hands. And then I'm just gonna kind of form his hair into the general, like what I want it to do. And also to mention, all of these are my hair products. Yeah. <laughs> these are all what I use. Yeah. You like getting your hair done? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that looks so good, dude. Mm. All right, now that I like the way it looks, we're just gonna hairspray it. We're gonna glue it. And there you go, dude. Look how fly you look. Do you like it? Look in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Luna, I have stuff to do today and I need you out of the car. <laughs> I've been telling her to get out while I buckled them in because I have some errands to run and she refuses to get out. <laughs> Luna, come. Come on. Oh, there she goes. Luna, come. You can't go with me. You stay here, okay? You stay here. <laughs> all right, we are all loaded up. I have a feeling Finn's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> it is right about his nap time. We're just gonna do a quick grocery store run and I do wanna run really quickly to Home Depot just to grab something for the barn for my horse. The weather is just pretty wet and muggy so it's not really weather that I would want to ride in but I may end up going up there a little bit later to go visit. So, funny story, I made my way all the way to, actually I ended up going to Lowe's, or I'm headed into Lowe's, and both children fell asleep. And so I went home, and I put Finn into bed. I was like, what was I thinking? Like, Finn just needs to go to bed. Like, he always needs his nap, and it's definitely his nap time. It's not too late for his nap. And I'm like, I just need to go put him to bed. <laughs> so I ran home, and I put him to bed, and he was like, out like a light. Ollie, on the other hand, doesn't really need a nap. I'm sure he's getting a nice little nap in, which will be nice, but he doesn't really need to sleep very long, and so I'm gonna wake him up, and then we're gonna run in, and I'm actually looking for some flowers. So, gotta wake this dude up, and tell him it's time to go into the store. Well, good morning there, sunshine. How was your sleep? Good. Did you think it was funny that when you woke up, Finn was just gone? Yeah. <laughs> So I was looking for this, um, like a hanging plant for in the barn, and I love this one. I love the planter it's in, or like the little pot it's in. I love the plants. It's not something that's like the horses are gonna eat. And then I wanted a small one for one of my shelves, and I just think this is really pretty and simple. Doesn't need too much light um, or water. So, do you like them, Molly? Yay! Guys. Bug catchers? And what kind of bugs do they catch? They catch flies. Flies? I just don't want to touch them, guys. Yeah. They will bite you. <laughs> so we are grocery shopping and we are in desperate need of a lot of things, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, so far we've got our bread and we've got some fruit. I need to get a little bit more. And some salads, avocados, which we always need. And then, of course, you know, we always need cinnamon rolls, right? 
and then um, check what Ollie brought into the store with us. <laughs> he brought his Venus body trap. Um, so yes, we did get one for him, and he okay. was so it's excited. Like, well, we wanted one. <laughs> he actually didn't even ask me. He was like, "Can I just go see them one more time?" I was like, "Let's just get you one." And he wants to take care of it, huh? Yeah. So what do you have to do to take care of it? Um, give it some water and some food. Yeah. And what kind of food do you give it? Um, flies. What kind of flies? Black flies. Black flies? But real flies and black flies. They have to be alive, huh? Yeah. So yeah, he's really excited. He had to bring it in. He's been telling it how much he loves it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's been giving it a kiss. <laughs> oh, and he even, like, he put it here and he was like, I want it to be able to look at me. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> I told him it's not alive. He thinks it's like, has eyes and can see him. Huh? Yeah. All right, we're looking for arugula. Can we find the arugula? No. Okay, we can't find it anywhere. We're lost. So I got home from shopping and I've been doing a little project. <laughs> um, is this like homework or something? It is. You know, um, I'm working really hard right now to win you a vacation home. <laughs> she has been doing this for over an hour and a half. Oh, I get like I'm stressed out something like this. Um, okay, so at our store you can, it's like a Monopoly game. You get like all these pieces when you buy groceries. They have like Monopoly everywhere groceries. Yeah, right? I'm sure, yeah. Well, I don't know. But yeah, and so um, basically you I'm doing on, really do good. You get free parking? Do you get free parking? I know, right? Store? <laughs> or like a best parking spot. Um, I don't know, but I'm about to win the million dollar cash prize. Oh my gosh. And the million dollar vacation home. You're so. so full of it. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm pretty close to the $5 one though too. I've got a $5 gift card. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually doing pretty dang good and I have quite a few left. We'll be shopping at this grocery store for the next few months until the game is over and hopefully I win a million dollars. All right, I finished with my little project and I gotta say, I am so close to winning that million dollars. I've got one left. <laughs> Anyways, um, kids just ate dinner and they're taking a bath. Actually, they're taking a shower. And I thought I would talk about something I've been thinking about a lot lately, which is something that also people ask me about all the time, especially now that I have a horse and my life is like a little bit busier and stuff, but it is if I'm going to have another baby. I have to say, like, I've kind of been telling myself, like, 2018, we're gonna start to try again. That's kind of been, like, my plan. And life is just so busy right now. I'm just like, I can't, I don't think I can swing it yet. But my plan was kind of end of 2018. So I'm still like, am I gonna be ready by, by the end? I'm not really sure. I have thought about, like, what I'm going to do. Do, like now that my I have two kids, I've got one in school, the other one's gonna be in school pretty soon. I have a horse, which is a big responsibility. And we've got a business, we've got a couple businesses, honestly, and we have a lot, a lot going on. Can I actually manage another baby? And I, I honestly feel like, not yet, I feel like there will be a time. I definitely have like, me and Brian both have like that feeling in us that's just like, I think we want one more. Like I think we would love to have just like one more and it feels like that would be like the finishing piece to like our puzzle or our family you know and it feels like something's missing I mean we love our little family of four and we're just cherishing every second of it but it just I don't know to me I feel like there's just like a little something that might be missing and so as far as like managing a horse gosh like I wouldn't be able to ride too far into my pregnancy probably not very far at all honestly and you know just the work of it I would I think I'd be able to manage working with the horse but riding I wouldn't really be able to do so I would probably have to find someone to help like ride and stuff which wouldn't be too difficult and then yeah I mean just life is busy you know it's not as much napping as I could have done in my first uh, with like when I was pregnant with Ollie which I re really didn't do much of anyways and uh, just just busy, you know? I'm gonna be going in and out of taking them to school and doing things, and then you throw a baby in there. I mean, that's a whole other, whole other uh, life, too, that I can't even imagine yet. But I am hoping that by the end of, like, 2018, we can really start, like, really start getting our life ready and prepared to throw another little one into the, into the mix. And I know that by doing that, I mean, that's at least three to four years of, like, busy. I mean, honestly, it's like the rest of your life is super busy. But, you know, when they're just, like, ba itty bitty baby, like, they just rely on you so much. And you can't really just be like, oh, I'm just, you know, I've got a horse. I gotta do that. Like, I've got a baby. That's more important. So, I'm just trying to figure out how to manage manage all that and how to fit everything in and how we're gonna make it happen but I'm excited um, the boys are always talking about how much they want another baby and they want to be mama's baby but they need another baby and it's just the cutest thing ever so maybe soon I think it'll be fun too to wait till they're a little older as well to like really get to be involved and remember the next little one being a baby that is my cue though so I'm gonna go 
check it on them. Brian's in there, but I'm gonna go check it on them and then get them ready for bed. Life is so crazy, I gotta go.